what's up guys welcome to today's video i have been thinking a lot recently and i am feeling very clouded in my being of all the crap that i have i've been watching a lot of minimalist videos on youtube all the big youtubers that do all the minimalist stuff and also the little smaller ones with all the tips and tricks and all of that stuff and i really feel that I identify with this concept. And I have for a very long time, it's just that it's never really been a conscious effort from my part, which means also that you kind of slip back into hoarding things, you slip back into buying unnecessary things, um, get stuff sent from companies that you don't need, in my case. Since Sweden is a season country, we have a lot of seasons, oh, well, we have technically four seasons, but um, it gets really warm in the summer, really cold in the winter, etc, etc. Um, so I can't really declutter my summer wardrobe now during winter. But I do have a lot of stuff that I don't wear that I'm gonna get rid of today. So this is my first step to a more minimalist lifestyle. And I, I don't know if you guys want to see a video series on this. Today I'm going to start with my closet, which I've done a lot of times, but now I'm going to be very, very brutal. Because I have three black garbage bags, like huge garbage bags with clothes. I have all my clothes in my wardrobes and everything, and I don't use most of it. Today I'm gonna have, well, technically three piles. Um, of which one I hope is gonna be very tiny, which is the keep pile. Here is my clothing rack thing that you've seen in some of my other videos. Uh, those are clothes I do wear and those are clothes that are definitely staying, so I'm not gonna go through that part of my closet. I will have a donate pile, which will be the absolute largest pile because I have a lot of clothes that I've basically never worn that I just want to donate. I've tried selling, I've tried giving away to people, I'm done with that. I'm done with it. It's such a hassle and I don't want to do it anymore. So I'm going to donate most of it. And I will also have a trash pile, throwaway pile, because not everything is okay to donate. Some stuff is just garbage. So there's nothing more to say really. And let's just get started. This is not healthy. It's not healthy to have this amount of crap. Look at this, look at this pile. So these are kind of difficult what I want to do with these clothes because these are all tests of shirts I wanted to start selling like this picture of Rascal and a um, picture of me. They're perfectly good quality, I mean there's nothing wrong with them shirt wise but it feels kind of awkward just to donate a bunch of shirts that have my name on it. <laughs> like, people are gonna look at them and be like, excuse me? Next we have this, uh, I'm not gonna show you every piece. I am gonna fast forward most of this. Um, but here's an item I'm definitely keeping. It's a summer dress that goes with my color scheme that I wanna wear. Um, I am keeping white, black, gray, earthy colors, maybe beige, um, and blue. Those are the colors that I wear. Um, I have a few exceptions that I don't know what to do with because of this, because I do want to keep them, but I don't wear them. And you're not supposed to keep things in your closet that give you kind of like, I don't know, that makes you feel bad when you look at them. I'm going through my summer pile right now, and this is an item that I did wear this summer, but it doesn't spark joy in my life, so donate. This is a skirt that I'm keeping because I did wear it a lot, and it's the color scheme that I wear. I hope I don't accidentally donate the garbage and throw away the donation stuff. <laughs> this is a perfect, perfect example of what a minimalist does not do. I went into town, like this fall, just looked around for something, I don't know what, and I saw this and I thought, wow, that looks comfy. And it has nice colors, I bought it, I wore it like three times, and now I'm never gonna wear it again. Because it's not something I need, and it's not something I wear. Donate. Perfect baggy jeans. I love these, and as you can see, they have this kind of like, bow-legged cut, which is really nice. I wear them, not often, but I do wear them. 
and they're they're really the perfect baggy jeans. So if I ever want to wear baggy jeans, these are the ones I'm going to want to wear. And I'm not going to spend money to find another pair of baggy jeans that won't be as perfect as these. So that's, I think, a reason to keep these because I love them, they make me happy, I wear them, and they're perfect. This is a leopard cardigan kind of sweater-ish that's really long um, that I got in a... I showed you guys in a recent Chiquel haul, I believe. Um, but I don't think I'm going to wear it, sadly. Drop dead skirt that I've been meaning to wear for about four years now. Never have. Goodbye! I don't need three Arsenal jerseys, especially not the ones that are falling apart. So I'm going to donate two of them, keep the uh, most recent one, which is still like three, four years ago. Um, but I'm definitely keeping this. one two three three full bags of clothes I'm throwing out one bag and one of the bags were Sony's so I can't really do anything about that <laughs> um, but I'll show you here here is the little pile of stuff that I'm keeping as well as all of this stuff I think that I did a pretty good job actually better than I've done before anyway. For the last part of this video I'm going to do a little giveaway. A giveaway that I should have done this summer but for a few different reasons I just didn't and now I am going to do it. I showed you these shoes that I got <laughs> and some other shoes in a vlog that I did this summer so I'll show you the snippet of me showing you these shoes now. So I went and picked up a package that came in the mail today. Don't know what it is. My guess is that it's shoes. Ah! Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh, look at that. Oh, those pointy ones with little spikes on them. Yo. Oh my lord. They're sandals. This is what they look like if you wear white socks in them. These are so weird but so cool. These are way too fucking small. These fit at least. These fit too. Definitely use a larger size in these too. So as you can see, two pairs did not fit me. Um, the leather boots were perfect. I love them. I wear them often. And the shorter boot, whatever that model is called, I don't know, uh, with the little spikes, I wear those too. So those two I love. But these two just did not fit me. Way, way too small, way, way too big. I am doing a giveaway with Suji. Suji? That the shoes are from. And the rules are very simple. Just click the link in the description below to enter the giveaway. And the little questionnaire thing that pops up, I didn't create that. Um, so if it doesn't look exactly like my style of things, it's because it's not. Um, but that's okay. I mean, if you want to just enter the giveaway, um, three people will win. This giveaway is US only, so only people in the US can enter. So these shoes that I cannot wear at all because they don't fit, I will be donating as well. So now the first part of my decluttering series, if you are interested in that, um, is done. I have decluttered my closet for hopefully the last time in a while. Um, next I think is my makeup plug jewelry collection that I really need to declutter because I have way more stuff than I wear. Maybe I'll do a giveaway with my plugs to someone who has 30mm plugs in their ears uh, that wants basically all of my plugs because I don't wear them. So if you're a person with 30mm plugs that enjoys changing them around and trying new things, then just keep a lookout for when I post that video and I'll definitely do a giveaway in it. So I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumb up if you did. Don't forget to bell me and subscribe also to keep up to date on everything that I do. Um, sweet word of the day, I should have gone before that, sweet word of the day is tea, because I've been drinking tea while making this video. Sweet word for tea is tea. Well, don't forget to subscribe to the video. Until next time, have a super duper one, guys. I will see you later.